It is my pleasure today to welcome Kimberly Pierce to the University of Chicago. The reason that we are having this event in part is to try to think about what's the relationship between a University of Chicago undergraduate education and the rest of life. Uh, and so but we're going to start the conversation today with the, with the question, how did your education get you into the business and what is, what is, what is it that you were prepared for and unprepared for coming from here? It's a, it's a great question. Uh, you know, I think what's interesting is when you're at school here, and I don't know if it's like that now, but the idea of becoming an artist is not really synonymous with, you don't think it's synonymous with what you're studying. Um, but I would, I would argue that it's totally synonymous. That in fact, the art that I do, if you kind of go back to all the great directors, you know, before my generation, you know, they were completely schooled in literature and history and, you know, they were master storytellers. And then I also think, you know, being critical. It's like, it's one thing to experience the world and have read some literature before you get here, but then to really, you know, take it seriously, learn to be critical, and learn to make mistakes. And I think that, you know, to be an artist, it's like the first thing you have to learn is to accept criticism by other people. Particularly if you're gonna be, you know, in a popular medium like I'm in, which is, you know, I, I make stories, and those stories have to be entertaining. So I notice that you look at me all the time when you say criticism. Ah. <laughs> it was drilled deep. Could you, I don't know why, but like, so could you talk a little bit uh, about you know, studying gender and sexuality studies and how, how did, did that at all have an effect on, the, on boys? Sure. You know, it's, we were just talking about this. Back in 87, when I took Lauren's course, there was no other course like it. That's 1987, by the way, not 1887. <laughs> 1787. Uh, there was no other course like it. And you know, I heard that she was great, and we just figured out you'd only been teaching for a couple of years. Uh, you know, got into the class and didn't quite know what I was in for. Didn't know what feminist studies were. There were no gender and sexuality classes, but the stuff that she talked about was—it just like it set off like a little bomb in my head. And you know, we kind of said it was like a magnet. It was like suddenly I was just drawn to these discussions and these ideas and these writings, and I know it played a huge influence. I mean, that's when you started having very strong views about how narrative should work. Yes. And also about the relationship between realism and entertainment. That, that is one of the things that it was really interesting for you to try to figure out how to do, is how to tell a story about something real. Like, right. And there, there was this, you know, there's this great moment in, we're going to talk about On the Waterfront a little bit later, but you know, when uh, even Marie Saint doesn't want to go back to the convent school, and she says, I've seen things that I know are so wrong, how can I go back to school and keep my mind on things that are just in books that aren't people living? And I thought, oh, no wonder you love this movie. Yeah. You know, because you're trying really hard to think about like creating genres where people are going to have pleasure. If you guys want to go into film or drama, I would totally go back and reread The Poetics. Uh, not to be, you know, limited, but it, uh, it's extraordinary because what it really talks about is how you design the vehicle of drama and what it takes for a drama to actually work, and that's fundamentally character. Character has action, and that action drives things forward. And if you look at all the great movies, they have it, and if you look a lot of stuff out there today, they don't have it, and it's why a lot of stuff just doesn't hold up. So really, when I got a hold of Aristotle, I just read it over and over and over, and I find, you know, I still read it like once a year, and it, if I'm working on a script, it just helps me figure out, oh wow, what's the first act break, what's the second act break, so it's, it's pretty great. 